Dialogue 1. Who are you going with? Morning, Mary! Good morning, Nina. Where were you after work yesterday? Uh, nowhere. Why are you asking me that? Come on, tell me the truth. Who were you going with last night at 8? What? I don't understand what's going on. Come on, girl. I knew that you were out with a guy yesterday. Oh my god! How did you know? Well, I actually accidentally saw you and someone passing by down the street when I was standing next to my window. Oh, I see. Who was that? He looked very familiar, but I wasn't sure who that was. That's John. John? Your new neighbor? Yeah. I can't believe you didn't tell me you were dating him while we are best friends. Sorry, Mary. I truly didn't mean to hide it from you. Yesterday was actually only our first date. Oh, really? Yeah, sorry again for not letting you know about this sooner. To be honest, I was also a bit hesitant to tell you the news right away because I was afraid you would tease me. Don't worry. Tell me all the details then. Okay, last Sunday I was watching TV at home when I heard my doorbell ringing. It turned out that John came over to return the iron he borrowed. After that, he asked me if I wanted to have dinner with him. That's so sweet. Then how was the date yesterday? It was great. We went to a French restaurant and talked about a lot of things. We have a lot in common. Wow, I'm so glad to hear that. Dialogue 2 the neighbor who was always making noises. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Lucy. Why do you look so tired? Oh, I spent all day moving into my new apartment yesterday. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought you just moved into a new place a month ago. Why are you moving again so soon? Ugh, it's all because of my neighbor there. Why? What's the matter? There's a guy living in the apartment next door, and he's the noisiest person I've ever known. The whole time that I lived in that apartment, he was making noises all the time. During the day, he would be singing or talking very loudly on the phone with his friends. When I was sleeping in my bed at night, he was always watching films and laughing, sometimes until 2 or 3 a.m. That sounds horrible. Did you try to work out the problem with him? Yes, I came over to have an honest talk with him. I also had to knock at his door several times and politely tell him to keep the noises down, but he was so rude. He told me to stay out of his business. He also said he was just enjoying life and that he had the freedom to do whatever he liked in his apartment. It was so frustrating. Oh my god, that's awful. I wouldn't want to deal with someone rude like him. Did you talk to the building's managers? I did. They were very understanding of my situation. When they were talking to the noisy guy and telling him to avoid making loud noises and bothering other people, he didn't seem to care at all and shut his door at them. I had no choice but to move out. Yuck, poor you. Did you move into the new place all right? Yeah, luckily everything seems okay now. I'm glad to hear that. Dialogue 3 What were you doing? 
Hi, Gloria. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Tiffany. I'm fine. Thanks. What about you? I'm great. Thanks. Hey, by the way, what were you doing when I called you last night? There seemed to be a lot of noises, but you said you were busy, so I didn't have the chance to ask. Oh, I'm sorry again for all the noises. My nieces and nephew came over. Yesterday was my sister's five-year wedding anniversary, so she and her husband were going out on a date at a nearby French restaurant. My husband and I wanted them to enjoy the romantic dinner, so we agreed to watch the kids for them. Ah, oh, I see. How many nieces and nephews do you have? I have only one nephew who just turned five, and his twin nieces who are only three. Oh, nice. And you have two kids, so yesterday you were watching five kids in total? Yeah, basically. Oh my god, I love children, but watching five kids at the same time must be so hard. Yeah, you're not wrong at all. Last night, all of them were playing games and watching cartoons together. I tried to tell them to keep it down, but it was impossible. It's the same for me and my kids. My kids are still small, so it's understandable why they're naughty. Yeah, I guess. Dialogue 4 Where were you going? Hi, Mina! Hey, Susan! I just checked my phone and saw that I had a missed call from you. Sorry, I didn't have my phone with me last night. Why did you call me? Where were you going at the time? I kept calling, but no answer. Ah, uh, I was chatting with my friends in the coffee shop. I didn't notice my surroundings. What's up? Ah, uh, we were hanging out at a cafe by Westlake at about 8 last night. I realized that the cafe was pretty close to your house, so I wanted to ask you if you want to come and join us. Oh, I see. Who were you with? I was sitting with some people in my dance club. We went to the cafe after our dance practice. There were Brian, Leo, Jesse, and Julia. You met them several times before. Yeah, I know. It's a shame I couldn't join you guys, but actually, I wasn't free anyways. Last night when you called me, I was going to a reunion with my friends from high school. Oh, that must be fun. I love high school reunions. Yeah, we were a group of seven closest friends, but I haven't met most of them in a year and a half because two were studying abroad and three were going to college on the other side of the country. Oh wow, you must be very happy to see them then. You can't imagine how excited I was. After work yesterday, I immediately got home to change clothes and then I rushed to the coffee house. Because I didn't want to be late, I was in such a hurry that I even forgot my phone at home. <laughs> Really? How was your group reunion? We got together to catch up and to celebrate our high school teacher getting married. And so the whole time we were chatting about our high school memories. As well as what we'd wear and what gifts to buy for her wedding. We just went on and on and didn't stop talking and drinking until midnight. That sounds like fun. It really was. Anyways... Let's hang out together sometime this weekend. Okay, sure. Hi, Mark. Good morning, Layla. It's quite unusual to see you this early in the morning. I know. Actually, I planned to do some exercise for myself about two weeks ago. 
So why didn't you do it last week? Oh, God. A great deal of heavy workload took away my sleeping hours. Hence, I couldn't wake up on time to go jogging. But my back pain keeps getting worse, and it's Sunday anyway. That's why I'm determined to get up today to go for a walk. I used to suffer from backache. Ever since I started running in the morning, my condition has gotten better. And I also bring a small companion with me. Isn't that right, Mr. Snowball? You're the best, boy. Get to go all over the place with Mr. Mark over here. That's funny. Where's Linda, by the way? She normally goes with you. Linda's off on her business trip. Only Billy and I are staying at home at the moment. Why don't you take Billy with you? He's not going to get up until nine. The weather looks so fine today. What will you do? It's a special day. Do you want to guess what it is? Just tell me, Layla. I completely have no idea. It's my daughter's birthday. Oh, yeah. Laura's reaching her 10th birthday, right? Yes. Time flies so fast. I still remember when she started standing on her tiny feet, just like yesterday. There will be lots of things going on today. How about you? What will you do? It's just a common Sunday for me. After jogging, I might as well watch TV at home with Billy. Ah, we're having a party for Laura tonight. How about you and Billy come to our house? Really? Am I invited? Of course. You're my close friend around this neighborhood. That's great. What time will the party start? About 8 p.m. Some of her relatives will come too. Do you need my help with anything? I'm free today. Are you sure you're free? Billy's still at home. That's fine. The babysitter will look after him. All right, then. Would you like to go shopping with me? Do you intend to get Laura a present? Yeah, but I'm still confused about what to buy for her. I need to consult your idea. What does she like most? I think Laura's pretty mature compared to her age. She started reading short classic stories, and she seems to love it. She also writes down some notes of her own. She calls them her big idea, but she never shows anything to me. Wow, your daughter is smart in some ways. Normally, girls would have a dollhouse at this age. What a nice surprise at the things Laura does. Sometimes I wish she was just like her friends, going out and having some friends. But she only loves being alone and reading. That makes me feel a bit worried. You're worrying too much, Layla. Relax a little. You should remember, she's the cleverest student in her class. She's completely fine. All right. Back to buying presents. Did you just mention that she loves classic pieces? Yeah, she's crazy about them. So let's head to the bookshop and see what they have there. Wait, are we going to walk there? Of course. How do you think we're going to get there? By car? Yeah, I mean, the bookstore's in town. It's impossible to go on foot. Oh, so you don't know. There's a brand new bookshop right on Green Street. It's called White Covers. It also has a cafe so people can enjoy their books with a cup of coffee. Well, I had no idea about that. When did it open to the public? About a month ago. Guess I'm too busy to notice any changes to our neighborhood. That's right. You don't even drive through that street to get to your workplace. Shall we go, then? Yeah. Could we drop by my place so Mr. Snowball could go home? And I also want to check out Billy. 
Sure. Let's go. We're here. Just come in and wait for a second. Billy seems to be in bed. Sure. May I sit on the couch? I'm a little tired due to walking too much. Of course, just make yourself at home. Buddy, aren't you up yet? Dad, let me sleep for a little bit more. It's almost 9 a.m. already. Do you want to go out today? Where are we going, Daddy? We're just hanging around the neighborhood. We can go to the McDonald's and have some fried chicken afterward. Really? I'm up now. Get dressed and eat your toast in the kitchen. I'll wait for you in the living room. Hey, how are you feeling now? I'm a little tired from all the walking. And my legs are numbing. Here, have a drink, and you'll feel better. It might take a couple of days for you to get used to it. Thanks. Where's Billy? He's in his room, getting ready. He's really excited. He's coming with us, isn't he? Yeah, I've called the babysitter not to come. You look pretty unwell. How about going to the bookstore by car? No need to do that. I'll be just fine. I'm afraid your legs can't carry you out of the door. Don't worry, taking my car out won't take long. That would be great. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Billy, say hi to Mrs. Smith, our neighbor. She's coming with us today. Good morning, Mrs. Smith. You're such a nice boy. Calling me Layla should be fine. Shall we go now? Of course, buddy. Just stay here with Mrs. Layla and I'll get the car first, okay? All right, Daddy. What do you like the most? Fried chicken! Other than fried chicken, what else do you love? I love Superman! Oh, you love Superman? Do you want to see Superman? Really? Can I meet him? You need to come with us to find out, and we'll have chicken after meeting Superman. Hooray! Let's go. Come on, Billy. Let's get in your daddy's car. Dialogue 1. Living in London. Hey there. I'm in the same business camp as you. My name is Kate. Oh, hey, I'm Will. How are you? I'm good, thanks. What about you? I'm great, too. Hey, by the way, if I'm not mistaken, it sounds like you're speaking with a British accent, right? Are you from England? Yes, I am. No wonder why. I love your accent. Oh, thanks. So, which part of England are you from? I'm from London. Ah, I've been to London before. I went there two years ago on a summer vacation. I love the city. It's so beautiful and the food is also great. Oh, yeah? I'm glad to hear you love it. I love London, too. I've been living there my whole life. It must be nice living in such a fascinating city. 
Do you live near the city center? Yes, my house is not too far from the city center. I live in a house on Baker Street in Westminster. Oh, wow. I think I have heard that street's name before. What is that area like? It's an exciting place with lots of fun stuff to do. It's close to the city center, so it can be a bit too noisy at times, though. Oh, really? I see. Do you live with your family there? Yeah, I do. Currently, I'm living with my parents and my two younger brothers there. I'm hoping that after I finish high school, I'll be able to live alone and have my own room. You don't like living with your family? It's all right. I don't hate it. But living with my whole family can sometimes be a bit crowded and inconvenient. I see. Dialogue 2. Living in the Suburbs Hey, Nick. Why are you here? I thought everyone at the company is still at the party. Hey, Chloe. I had to leave the party early to go home. Are you going home too? No, I'm leaving early because I have to pick up my sister at the airport. Do you have any celebrations at home today or something? No, not really. I really wanted to stay till the end because we haven't had a party in forever. But I still have to leave early because my house is far away and I don't want to go home too late at night. Yeah, it's best if we don't go out late. There has been a lot of crimes lately. So where do you live? I live in Mannheim Township. It's really nice and beautiful. Suburban area in Lancaster County. Ah, I've been to the area, so I know that it's pretty far away. How long does it take you to go to work every day? Our company is in the city center, so it's a pretty long way for me to get to work. It takes me about an hour and 15 minutes if I take the subway. Wow. Then you must get up very early to go to our company each morning. Why didn't you rent a place near here? I thought about it before, but decided not to move because I love being close to nature and living in Mannheim Township. I have a pretty large house there with a big backyard and a garden to grow veggies. The neighborhood is also very quiet and beautiful. That sounds so peaceful. And there's plenty of fresh air in the suburbs. The city is getting more and more polluted. That's true. Ah, my subway's here. I'll see you at work on Monday. Okay. Bye, Chloe. Dialogue 3. Living in New York. Oh, hey, Justin. Oh my god, why are you wearing shorts in this weather? Sorry, what? I mean, don't you feel cold? It's starting to snow and I'm freezing here. Ah, I feel fine. I'm from Canada, so I'm used to the cold weather. This kind of cold is nothing to me. <laughs> oh, that's why... I have another Canadian friend, and he also never feels the cold at all. Which part of Canada are you from? Toronto? Montreal? Nah, I'm from Vancouver. It's a big coastal city in western Canada. Actually, the winter in Vancouver is mild and not that cold compared to other cities in Canada. Oh, I see. I've never been to Vancouver. What is it like? Mm, Vancouver is a fun, bustling city. The city has very beautiful scenery because it's close to both ocean and mountains. 
Wow. There are also plenty of outdoor sports you can play in Vancouver. You can kayak and swim in the summer, ski and skate in the winter, as well as go hiking, fishing, biking all year round. Wow, living in Vancouver must be fun. Yeah, I'm fond of sports, so I really like the fact that there's always something to do. So, when did you come to New York? I just came two months ago to attend college here. How do you like New York? I like the city. New York is lively, bustling, and very fast paced. New York is really the city that never sleeps. How does it compare to Vancouver? I can't compare them because I like them both. By the way, Matt, if you ever come to Vancouver, let me know and I'll give you a tour. That'd be great. Dialogue 4 Living Near the Sea. Hi, my name is Sam. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm a business major. What about you? I study engineering. I'm from Boston. Are you local here? Nah, I'm from Miami. Oh, Miami and Florida. You must have come a long way here for college. Ah, oh, right. Is that why you have such beautiful skin? I'm really jealous of people who have tanned skin. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we do get a lot of sun in Miami. I miss the sunny weather there so much. Yeah, true. It's always sunny there. Do you live near the sea? Yeah, I do. It's only a ten minute walk from my house to the beach. Wow, really? That's awesome. It'd be so great to be able to go to the beach whenever you like. Yeah, I live with my family and my siblings, and I often go swimming and sunbathe every weekend. We also go kayaking and surfing and play volleyball on the beach whenever the weather's good. That sounds like so much fun. I've always wanted to live by the sea. You'd get to play all kinds of outdoor sports and get to enjoy the sun and fresh air all the time. Uh-huh, that's why I really enjoy living near the beach. But living here is also an amazing experience. It's a bit colder, but you'd get to go skiing and go skating and build a snowman in the winter. I've never been able to experience a true winter before coming here for college. You're right. Each place is beautiful in its own way. Honey, I'm home. How are you today? I'm terrible. I have a headache. I'm so sad to hear that. What gives you a headache? There are so many reasons. Maybe you'll feel better if you tell me. Well, work is my biggest headache. What is wrong at work? It's my boss. He always scolds me. Why does your boss scold you? He says I'm lazy and I take too many breaks. Well, do you take too many breaks? I don't think so. Why don't you ignore your boss? I can't ignore him. He's my boss. That's too bad. What else gives you a headache? What else gives me a headache? My co-workers. My co-workers give me a headache. Why do your co-workers give you a headache? Because they're always gossiping. Do they gossip about you? 
probably, but not to my face. That's too bad. What else gives you a headache? Driving. Driving gives me a headache. Why does driving give you a headache? Oh, there's always traffic jams and there's no place to park. Why don't you take a bus to work? Take a bus to work? It's too crowded and there's never a seat. That's too bad. What can you do to get rid of your headache? Easy. I come back home and I see you. Are you excited to go to the party? Yes, I'm very excited about the party. Do you think we should bring something with us? Yes, I think we should bring a gift or something. What would be a good gift to bring? What about bringing flowers? But the flower shop is so far away. Can you think of something else? What if we bring some chips? Someone else will be bringing chips. Can you think of something else? What about bringing food? Well, we don't have to bring food because there's going to be a buffet at the party. What about bringing my music CD collection? Bringing a music CD collection is a good idea, but they're gonna have a DJ at the party. What about bringing some cards? You don't have to bring playing cards because there's going to be a mini casino at the party. Really? There's going to be a mini casino at the party? It's true. I'm not kidding. Can you think of something else? There's only one thing the party does not have. What's that? The party does not have us. Let's just bring ourselves. Yeah! Good morning, sir. How can I help you? Well, I have some time off work next month. And I was thinking of going to Australia. That sounds great. How long is your vacation? Just one week. My last day at work is the 26th of July and I get back on the 3rd of August. Okay, here's our Sydney brochure. Have a look and see if there's a hotel you like. Oh, this one is good. The Four Seasons Hotel. It's expensive. But I've been told it's very nice. Yes, it's a very high-class hotel. I'm sure you'll enjoy your stay there. Would you like me to make the booking now, sir? Yes, please. I just need to take some personal information. What's your full name? Martin Andrew Robert. And what's your address? 11 Soy Terracon, Klong San, Bangkok. And your phone number? 026-249. Do you have a daytime number I can call if necessary? 277-712. That's fine. Will you be traveling alone, Mr. Robert? Yep, just me. Okay, you finish work on Friday the 26th, so shall I try to book your flight for the next day? Yes, please, and return flight on Saturday the 3rd of August. I'll just check availability. Okay. 
There is a seat available on the Qantas Airways flight, but there's a three-hour three hour stopover in Singapore. Is there a direct flight I can take? Yes, Malaysian Airways. That flight departs at 7 o'clock on Saturday morning and arrives in Sydney at 6.30 p.m. local time. That sounds better. But it's a little longer than I thought. Well, it's an eight-hour flight. Don't forget the time difference. All the times given are local times. Ah, yes, that's right. They're three hours ahead, aren't they? Can I have the details of the return flight? That flight departs at 6 p.m. and arrives in Bangkok at 11.15 on that same night. Shall I reserve a seat for you? Yes, please. Now, let's reserve a room for you at the Four Seasons. Do you want a single or a double room? Oh, a single room will be fine. Thanks. Will it have a view of the harbor? Oh, yes. All rooms have harbor views. They have a room available. Shall I make the confirmation? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so now you have a room available at the Four Seasons from Saturday, the 27th of July, until Saturday, the 3rd of August. That's great. Can I pay by credit card? No problem. So it's 62,000 baht, including your flight. Okay, here's my card. When will I be able to collect my ticket? It should be ready in a couple of days. I can call you at work if you'd like. Thanks very much. Unit 1. What do you think? Honey? Honey, I bought a new blouse. What do you think of it? Honey, I bought a new blouse. What do you think of it? Why did you choose red? Oh, because I like red. Oh. Do you like it? Well, it's very red. I know, I love red. And look, I bought a new bag. What? I bought a new bag. What do you think? Oh, do you like it? It's really pretty. How much was it? Oh, it wasn't expensive, honey. Why did you choose a red bag? Because I love red bags. Do you like it? It's not expensive. No, it's cheap. Oh, I like it. Oh, good. Because it goes so well with my red shoes. You bought new shoes? Yes. What do you think of my new shoes? You already have so many shoes. Oh, but these are so pretty. Do you like them? Why did you choose red again? Because they go so well with my new bag. What do you think? Okay, you have a new bag, new shoes, and a new blouse. Yes, what do you think? I think you look like a new wife. Unit 2. Would you like fish? Here you go, honey. Thanks. Oh, what would you like for dinner? I don't know. Would you like fish? Um, sure. I don't care. Would you like pork? Um, sure. I don't care. Would you like steak? Sure. I don't care. Would you like an old shoe? Sure. I don't care. Would you 
Would you like a table near the window? Near the window? Yes, would you like that? Yes, I would like a table near the window. This way, please. Thank you. Here's the menu, sir. What would you like to drink? What do you have? We have red wine, white wine, rosé wine, champagne, coffee, and tea. Um, do you have water? Would you like water? Yes, I would like water. What would you like for lunch? I don't know. Would you like our fish? Our fish is delicious. No, I don't like fish. Would you like beef? Our steak is excellent. No, I don't like steak. How about our seafood? Our seafood is very good. I hate seafood. Well, what would you like? Do you have pizza? No, I'm sorry. We don't have pizza. We do have Italian food. Would you like Italian food? No, I will have a salad. Very good. One salad, sir. Thank you. Here you go, sir. Salad. Sir? Sir? Hmm. Unit 3. How far is it? Excuse me? Yes? Can you help me? Sure. I'm looking for the museum. The museum? Yes, the museum on Park Avenue. Oh, it's about half a kilometer that way. Half a kilometer? Uh-huh, it's not far. You can walk. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes, can I help you? Yes, I'm going to the museum. The museum on Park Avenue? Yes, that's right. Oh, it's quite far. How far? Oh, it's about half a kilometer that way. That way? Yes, Park Avenue is that way. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Unit 4. She always drinks orange juice. Excuse me? Yes? What is that woman drinking? She is drinking orange juice. She always drinks orange juice. Does she come here a lot? Not very often. She usually comes two or three times a month. Oh, does she like beer? No, she never drinks beer. She always drinks orange juice. Does she usually come alone? Usually, but sometimes she comes with her friends. I'd like to buy her a drink. An orange juice? Yes, please. Thank you. Unit 1. The Office Tour. So, Layla, are you ready to go on an office tour? Oh, yes. I can't wait. Okay. Angela will take you. Okay. These people are working on marketing. Oh, I see. And this is Harry. 
Hello, Harry. Nice to meet you. Miss Layla, Frank's new secretary. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. What do you do, Harry? Uh, I'm a delivery manager. And this is Jennifer. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. So, you are the new secretary? Yes, I am. Well, I hope you last longer than the last one. The last one? The last secretary. What happened to her? Nothing happened to her. Don't worry. They're only joking. Oh, I see. Unit 2, answering the telephone and transferring a call. Hello, this is the AHS company. Hello, is that the sales and marketing department? Yes, it is. How can I help you? I would like to speak with Mr. Frank, please. Could I ask who's calling, please? Yes, my name is Sandra Susan. Okay, Miss Susan, would you mind holding the line a moment? Thank you. Mr. Frank, you have a Miss Susan on line one. Oh, no, I don't want to talk to her. Should I tell her that you're busy and we'll call her back later? Yes, tell her that. Okay. I'm afraid Mr. Frank is too busy right now to take your call. I see. Uh, can you ask him to call me back, please? Certainly. Can I have your number? Yes, it's 222-6789. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Here you go. Oh. Uh, did she say what she wanted? No, she just wanted you to call her back. Uh, anything else? No. Okay, thanks. Hello, Mr. Frank's office. Could I speak to Mr. Frank, please? I'm sorry, Mr. Frank is in a meeting right now. Oh, I see. Uh, this is an important call, though. Could I ask who's calling, please? Yes, I'm calling from Mr. Andrew's office. Uh, to whom am I speaking? My name is Layla, and I'm Mr. Frank's new secretary. Nice to meet you, Layla. Could you please have Mr. Frank call Mr. Andrew today? What is it about? Mr. Andrew would like to talk about the prices of your products. Okay, I'll tell him as soon as he finishes his meeting. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Unit 3. Making an appointment. Good. Okay. I will. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, would you call Mr. Andrew for me, please? Certainly. I will straight away. Would you like me to schedule a meeting with him? Yes. What day? Next Monday. What time? 10 a.m. Where? Our office or theirs? Uh, I think theirs would be better. What should I tell him the meeting is about? It's about our new pricing strategy. Hello? How can I help you? Hello. I'm calling for Mr. Andrew. Oh, yes. I was expecting your call. 
I'm Mr. Andrews' secretary. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. My name is Rebecca. And you're Layla, right? Yes, you have a very good memory. Well, Rebecca, Mr. Frank would like you to schedule a meeting with Mr. Andrew. Okay, when and where? Next Monday, at your office. And what time will it be free? 10 a.m. All right, let me check Mr. Andrew's diary first. Okay. 10 a.m. will be fine. Thank you. See you next Monday. Okay, see you next Monday. Is everything set up? Yes, everything is set up. Were there any problems? No, there weren't any problems. Good. I need you to take notes at the meeting, okay? No problem. I enjoy note taking. Unit 4 Meeting with a Customer. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. Frank is here to meet Mr. Andrew. Do you have an appointment? Yes, 10 a.m. Oh, Mr. Andrew is waiting for you. Which floor? Please take the lift to the fourth floor. Thank you. You're welcome. Frank! Good to see you. Hello, Andrew. It's good to see you. This is Layla, my new secretary. Nice to finally meet you, Mr. Andrew. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, this is my secretary, Rebecca. Yes, we spoke on the phone before. Yes, it's really nice to finally meet you, Rebecca. Can I offer anyone some coffee or tea? I would like some tea, please. Coffee, please. For you, Mr. Andrew. Coffee, please. Okay, I'll be right back. So, Frank, shall we get down to business? Yes, let's get to work. So, Andrew, what did you want to talk about? Well, it's the new prices that you charge. What about my prices? Is there a problem? Well, they're far too high. No, they're not. Rebecca, can you show Mr. Frank the competitor analysis that we did? Here it is, Mr. Frank. Oh, I see that our prices are higher than these brands that you've researched. Do you understand me now? Yes, I do understand, but I can explain. Well, I'm willing to listen. There are three reasons why we cost more than our competitors. Okay. Firstly, we use plastic and not paper to make our products. So? Plastic is stronger and more durable. Okay, I see. Secondly, we have a 24-hour service hotline, should there be any problems. Yes, I've used this one before. Were they helpful? Yes, I suppose they were. And thirdly, we have a 30 days return and refund policy. Okay, none of your competitors offer this. Yes, I know. But I still think you're too expensive. But we are the best. But I can no longer afford it. Mm, this is a difficult situation. Look, I have to lower my expenditure. How long have we done business together? Fifteen years, and I've been a good customer. Okay, I can give you a 7% discount. 
Oh, look, Frank. Can you give me a 10% discount? No, I'm sorry, I can't. Okay, I'll take the 7% discount. Great, I hope that's helpful. Well, okay. At least I don't have to change suppliers now. Good, I'll send the new contracts over tomorrow. I'm looking forward to receiving them.